Welcome back to Let's Play the Evil Within. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... <sighs> Things are just as weird as ever, to be frank. Honestly, I'm starting to get a little annoyed with how vague and mysterious the storyline is being. No, nope, can't burn that. I'll just have to do this. Oops. I just meant to put it away. Fine. At least you're not coming back. Yeah, don't breathe that, for Christ's sake. Easy come, easy go, I guess. I'm starting to get annoyed with exactly how little they're telling me about what's going on. I mean, we've got magical barbed wire coming out of the ground and entwining people to turn them into zombies. We've got some sort of horrific scientific experiments to create monsters, which is apparently unrelated to the barbed wire zombies. I'm guessing that's where these things came from. Is this a, wait, no, this is the wall. Uh, Ruvik can teleport and move things with his mind and all kinds of crazy shit. But he's... And when he does it, it looks like the TV glitching out. Oh, fuck this. Fire in the hole. Oh, hell. Fucking... I have had quite enough of you. You're welcome. I thought I'd get both of you. Oh, he didn't make a noise, so I thought he wasn't dead. How many of those do I have left? Eh. Been better, been worse. I ran out completely at one point. Wrong button. Keep a few of these handy. I guess what I'd like to say is, give me something at this point. We're eight chapters into the game, and I have no idea what's supposed to be happening right now. You know, tell me something. Tell me... You know, oh. Find, let me find a journal from someone that says, Oh, there are rumors that Ruvik made a deal with the devil to gain incredible power. Just give me something. Just say, yeah, he made a deal with a demon, and now he's magic. Fine, I can accept that. I've done demons before. I've done psychic ghosts before. I've done telepathic alien madness zombies before. Um. If I bring it all the way down, can I just punch that? So I'm, I don't have that many bullets left. You gotta throw me a freaking bone here, guys! Awesome. I am fairly certain by this point in Resident Evil they would have at least started explaining what's going on. I was pretty sure that, you know, in the first couple of chapters, at least, in Resident Evil 4, I had found... Well, I bring that one up because they abandoned all the previous lore in order to focus on this entirely new thing with Los Plagas. And, uh... Can't 
move. There we go. I don't like that that keeps happening. Check behind me for secrets. No. Yeah, but at that point, it at least mentioned Las Plagas and, and that it had given people great power. Honestly, so far, I hate to say it, but as much as I'm really enjoying the atmosphere of this game, so far, it's, the story is just kind of a bunch of stuff that's happening. To use the words, uh... Yeah, these are the phrasing offered by uh, my good friend Ronan Drake. Get those! How do I get those? I'll just stand right here. That was close. Oh. keep making that noise. I don't like that noise. Seriously, how do how am I supposed to get these? Oh, fuck it, I can build more. I only criticize this because, frankly, I was expecting more out of uh, something of this caliber. I don't know why, but for some reason, horror games seem more likely than other genres to have really good stories. At least in my experience, I admit I'm not exactly the most experienced person in the genre. No, I can't read that. Fine. All right. I guess it's just like a an old book about miners. Maybe we've gotten high enough that this is the uh, museum they turned the thing into. They did that with a mine that uh, I believe my grandfather used to work in. On. Uh, Bell Island, Newfoundland. Before he moved his family away after the mine shut down. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh no. I am unsubscribing from this experience. Even, they don't even have the proportions of babies or anything. They're just tiny men. They're not actually attacking me. Oh, that one seemed to be attempting something. Fine, fine. I was going to make a joke about leaving two of them. Fine, you want to start your own species, knock yourselves out, but, uh... If you're going to try and bite my ankles off, you can fuck right off. What's up here? Oh, that's where I came in. Duh. I thought... Oh, yeah, that's nothing. Hmm. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, there we go. Roundhouse kick! Please die. I don't need that. Gross. Fine. At least they're not throwing ammo at me in the manner of a boss fight. Honestly, yeah, sure, fine. It's not gore this time. Can I? Yes, I can. So, don't do that. I thought it was a freaking cave-in or something. That was a thing I learned about the mine on Bell Island when we visited there when I was a kid. Uh, when you mine next to the ocean, you basically need to have pumps running 24 hours a day to keep the water out. That's why these days you can only go in like the top 5% of that mine. I mean, you're not allowed to go in there without... You're not allowed to go running around in there at all, because then the provincial government would be on the hook if you got yourself killed. But, uh... Yeah, most of the mine is, uh, flooded. Because it's below sea level. And, you know, water finds a way in. It's very good at that. Oh. Ah! Oh, you're just a dead rat. Uh, hey there. Honestly, yeah, I prefer you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking... Jesus. I wonder. Ah, yeah, fuck it. Oh, good. I can just, you know. This is messed up in a very serious way. For some reason, it's creepier that they don't make any sound, other than the, you know, physical crawling noises. And that, of course. general tip for finding hidden goods in games, if you have to look in a direction, look in the other direction. Is that a woman in a dress? Kinda surprised that didn't have a crawling thing in it. Huh. 
All right, even as uh, this game goes, I give this mine a zero out of ten. Would not revisit. Oh, you're not in a dress, you're just a human being. Oh, you're wearing an apron, that's why you seem to be one solid mass. And you're dead. That too. Cave note. I went in too deep, and of course it was a trap. Sophia told me to stop so many times. It was only a little further to the truth. I knew there'd be challenges, but I was so close. I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door. The door has had to lead outside. This plate I found it looks like it fits in the slot. It's probably the key, but which way does it go? 50-50 odds, and I've been here pacing for it feels like an eternity, unable to make the simple choice. Sophia, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms. I'll tell you that you were right, and I'll never let you go. out. Bloody relief plate. This strange plate has faces carved on either side of it. One side has blood streaked across it. Oh, okay, so I face it the other way. I was about to literally flip a coin. And if I had a match to spare, I'd burn your body. It's the closest thing to a proper funeral you'll ever get. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm a sucker for a sad story. There you go. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Rest in peace, hapless stranger. Thank you for your sacrifice. Has anyone ever done a game where you go to a dungeon or something and somebody's already done all the puzzles? Like just one dungeon. This door normally doesn't happen outside of a uh, safe room. To look one way, look the other. Actually, what it started out, the rule started out as if they want you to look one way, look the other, which of all things was uh, originally planted in my brain by an old episode of Tour of Duty, the show about soldiers in Vietnam. An episode I saw where, uh, this old experienced veteran was walking with the main characters, and he stopped them dead in their tracks when he noticed a big red scarf hanging from a branch in the tree, because, uh, the path directly underneath that was actually a spike trap. Well, you know, a spike pit. When they want you to look up, look down. Did I just compare game developers to the Viet Cong? My bad. Doc. Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. Come on, Doc. Do you need me to help. He will... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's... Like linking brains together. 
showing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Well, I didn't say it was perfect. Especially not with such a... unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. Huh. N not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. Oh. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. Doctor? I'm not gonna move a goddamn inch. In fact... So we're all being... We're all being inceptioned? We're like sharing a collective consciousness? Huh. Ask and you shall receive. I'm burning dog face and on that shocking revelation I'm going to call it. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Evil Within when we uh, press onward and figure out what this means for the story. Later!